The human eye is a sophisticated optical instrument that functions similarly to a camera. It collects light from the environment and transforms it into neural signals that the brain interprets as vision. Every component of the eye, from its external protective structures to its intricate internal layers, works in harmony to focus light accurately onto the retina, where visual information is processed. External Structures of the Eye The external aspects of the eye are designed primarily for protection and maintenance of a clear optical pathway. The eyelids, eyelashes, and conjunctiva are all critical in shielding the eye from foreign particles and excessive light, while also helping to distribute tears evenly over its surface. The lacrimal apparatus, which includes the lacrimal gland and associated ducts, produces and drains tears, ensuring that the eye remains moist and that the corneal surface stays free from debris and pathogens. Eyelids, eyelashes, conjunctiva, and lacrimal apparatus. The eyelids are movable structures that protect the eyeball from mechanical injury and serve to spread the tear film uniformly across the eye during blinking. Eyelashes act as a first line of defense, trapping dust and small particles before they can reach the eye's delicate surface. The conjunctiva, a thin and transparent membrane that covers the sclera and lines the inside of the eyelids, plays a vital role in lubrication and infection prevention. In tandem with these, the lacrimal apparatus produces the tears that not only moisten the eye, but also help remove any irritants, ensuring the cornea remains clear and receptive to incoming light. Internal Structures of the Eye Inside the eye, three primary layers form a complex system that transforms light into electrical signals. These layers are arranged concentrically and include the outer fibrous tunic, the middle vascular tunic, and the inner nervous tunic. Outer fibrous tunic. The outer fibrous tunic consists of the sclera and the cornea. The sclera is a dense white protective layer that maintains the shape of the eyeball and provides an attachment for the eye muscles. In contrast, the cornea is a clear dome-shaped structure that covers the front of the eye. Its curvature and transparency are essential for refracting light, directing it through the pupil and onto the internal structures for accurate focusing. Middle vascular tunic. Uvia. Situated beneath the fibrous tunic is the vascular layer, also known as the UVEA, which comprises the choroid, ciliary body, and iris. The choroid is a pigmented layer rich in blood vessels that supplies oxygen and nutrients to the retina while absorbing stray light to prevent image blurring. The ciliary body, attached to the choroid, produces the aqueous humor that nourishes the eye and helps maintain intraocular pressure, and its muscular components adjust the shape of the lens for focusing. The iris, the colored part of the eye, regulates the amount of light entering the eye by altering the size of the pupil, adapting to various lighting conditions. Inner nervous tunic, retina. The innermost layer of the eye is the retina, a complex, light-sensitive tissue where visual processing begins. It contains photoreceptor cells known as rods and cones, Rods are highly sensitive to light and facilitate vision in dim conditions, while cones are responsible for detecting color and providing high visual acuity in bright light. The central region of the retina, called the macula and within it the fovea, is densely packed with cones, making it crucial for tasks requiring detailed vision such as reading. The retina converts light into electrical impulses that are transmitted through the optic nerve to the brain where they are interpreted as visual images. Lens and fluid-filled chambers. Behind the iris and pupil lies the lens, a transparent, flexible structure that adjusts its shape to focus light precisely on the retina. The lens's ability to change curvature, known as accommodation, allows the eye to clearly view objects at various distances. Supporting this process are two fluid-filled chambers, the anterior chamber, located between the cornea and the lens, and the posterior chamber, or vitreous cavity, which fills the space between the lens and the retina. The aqueous humor fills the anterior chamber, maintaining intraocular pressure and providing nourishment, while the vitreous humor, a gel-like substance, helps to preserve the eye's shape and keeps the retina in close contact with the underlying tissue layers. Visual processing and the functional pathway. Once light is focused onto the retina, 
The photoreceptors initiate a biochemical process that converts the light signal into electrical impulses. These impulses travel through a network of retinal neurons, including bipolar and ganglion cells, before being transmitted along the optic nerve to the brain. The brain then processes these signals, reconstructing them into the visual images that allow us to interpret our surroundings. This intricate cascade from the initial refraction of light to the final neural interpretation ensures that the human eye functions as a highly efficient, precise instrument for vision. Overall, the human eye is a marvel of biological engineering, allowing us to perceive the world in vivid detail. From the protective eyelashes to the intricate retina, each component works in harmony to provide vision. Understanding its anatomy helps us appreciate not only its complexity, but also the importance of eye care. As technology advances, so does our ability to prevent and treat vision-related issues, making eye health a priority for a better quality of life.